The crappy spawn is one of the funnest times of year to get out on the water and have a blast fishing up shallow if you had some dirty water, fishing a little bit shallow if you got some cleaner water. So on today's video, we're gonna be going over when and where and how to fish the crappy spawn. So make sure y'all subscribe down below, hit that thumbs up button for me, and let's learn about it. Now the question I get asked the most this time of year is when do these fish move up shallow, Stephen? When, when should I be out there fishing, you know, up shallow in the dirtier water? Because believe it or not, crappy will spawn in five to 10 feet if you have really, really clean water. But with all the rain we've been having, most places are probably a little bit dingy. So, you know, they're probably in that five to zero foot range. So unless you have a gin clear uh, body of water, I wouldn't worry about that. But what temperatures should you start looking at? And really what we're looking for when the spawn first starts is, you know, we want that stable temperature of 60 degrees for black crappy, 62 to 63 for white crappy. And what I mean by stable degrees, guys, is if you go out there in the morning 6 a.m 7 a.m you get in your boat water temperature is 57 55 degrees that is not a stable 60 degree water temperature because yeah later on in the day it's going to go up to 60. you may have a rogue male hit the bank and start making this nest but majority of the time when you first get in that water in the morning you want that 58 to 60 that's when they first start moving up but you really want that 60 degree water temperature pretty much all day long. It may get up to 65 with the sun, but once it goes down, you want that 60 degree water temperature. Hopefully that clears it up for you guys because, you know, I was on the lake the other day and it was 58-ish. So with it being as warm as it is today, I'm sure it hit about 60. But I'm not going to start looking to probably next week. I just want to take a second to give a shout out to South Point roofing and construction uh i've been talking to the owner lately and he is just a stand-up guy these guys do an amazing work almost every product that they use has a lifetime warranty whether it's fading or just bad materials the shingles and stuff they use are rated up to 130 mile 135 mile per hour gusts so just an awesome guy i'm gonna leave his info down in the description below he's been you know, a little bit behind the scenes, doing some stuff with me, and just a big shout out to his company. Go check them out. Common question is, how do crappy spawn? And crappy are pretty much like their cousins. Whether you believe it or not, a crappy is a cousin to a black bass, which is, you know, a large mouth, or, you know, spotted bass, whatever, a, a bass. And they're cousins to a panfish, AKA a bluegill. So, what essentially happens when a crappy spawns is the male will go find a suitable spawning spot. Whether that's rip wrap, a stump, a brush pile, a dock pylon, uh, a random leaf on the on the thing. You know, they're, they're looking for somewhere that their eggs won't get messed with. So if you have a creek that has really, really, you know, good running water through it, they're probably not going to spawn in that creek. But also, if you have a creek that has a arm that has no flowing water, it will heat up faster and the eggs won't get disturbed by the north wind or, you know, any kind of powerful wind that goes through there. Those are the likely places that they're going to spawn. Essentially, to dumb all that down, you're looking for an area that has stagnated water, pretty much. You're looking for an area that, you know, has a not really a silt bottom. I mean, if they have no choice, they will spawn where there's a silt bottom. But your rockier bottoms, your your harder bottoms that have cover, stumps, brush piles, laydowns, dock pylons, those are your prime areas, but you've got to consider the wind. Uh, do boat waves go in there a lot? Uh, running water because they'll wash the eggs out and the crappy obviously wants the eggs to survive at least lay down stumps in any, any kind of wooden uh, Kind of structure that they can pull up on feel safe Spawn and be able to protect their fry because that's the male's responsibility is to get up there build the nest female comes in lays their egg then the male's gonna hang around to a spawn with another female B, protect the fry, 
and C. Eat your jig, crappmanjigs.com. We start looking for fish. That's what we're gonna cover right now. Basically, there's three types of stuff that I personally like to fish. I don't really have a lot of experience fishing the vegetation. You know, down in Florida and some other lakes, some of the Tennessee lakes, I think, have a lot of vegetation. But those are a different story. But for me personally, I like what you call a spawning flat, which is basically a flat that has a hard bottom and stays one depth on a contour map for an extended period of time in a pocket that is protected from wind and all this. Now, I also like docks that are in little pockets, like off the beaten path docks that have poles in the ground. If it's just a floating dock, I don't, I mean, there may be a big female up under it, but nine out of 10 times when I'm throwing a cork or a beetle spin or something, I'm looking for those poles in the ground that are three to zero foot. And I'm going to target those all the way down until I get a bite. Buddy may call you next week and be like, hey man, I was up in the river. They're spawning. Go hit the banks. And you go down towards the lower end of the lake and they ain't doing nothing. And essentially all this means is the upper end of your lake, most lakes, the river's up. I don't know why. But the upper end of your lake is going to warm up faster than the lower end of your lake. Like, if you're like me, I'm down south. I fish primarily Lake Murray, South Carolina. And the Saluda River and the Little Saluda River is going to warm up faster than down there towards the dam. So, essentially, the fish could be spawning in the rivers for a good three or four weeks before they even start spawning down towards the dam. Just... It's, it's the water temperature, guys. If the water temperature is stable, they will spawn. If it's not stable, they will not spawn. But they won't back up either. So say if we, you know, in the next couple weeks we get some warm weather, the water temperature rises to 63, 64, but then we get a cold snap and it drops back down in the 50s. Those fish will be stuck. They're not going to backtrack back out to the main lake. They're not going to go back out to this. They're going to pull off into that creek channel, find somewhere to, to bunker down, and wait on the water temperatures to rise back up. And they're going to go straight back to doing their business. How long do the crappies stay up shallow? Another wonderful question that I hear all the time. So I'm going to give it to you like you should get it right now. Hit the thumbs up button for me because I'm going to tell you the dang truth. If you're looking for a big female while fishing the spawn... Come here. Good luck. If, if you're fishing on the bank, good luck. Because the males are going to stay up shallow to keep making a nest. You know, do the spawn with another female if another female pulls up. But a female is going to pull up. She's going to lay them eggs and she's going to get out of there. And that's 100% what's going to happen. If you want to catch a big female this time of year, Either long line, tight line, or live scope, those creek channels. Don't worry about the males up shallow. Males up shallow are fun. But if you want to catch a fish of your lifetime, go back to that creek channel. But we're not talking about that in today's video. We're going back to the shallows with the, the tuxedo males. Now, now, what is the best way to target these fish? You know, I talk about swimming a jig. What do I mean? I want a jig that has a lot of action as it swims through the water. You know, here at Crappy Man Jigs, we make this jig... The 1.5 swim bait. It's got a paddle tail on the back. This is a brand new color I made especially for the spawn. Uh, if you bass fish before, you kind of know this color. This is the brightest orange you will ever see in your life. If I could get this camera to focus in on it. Like y'all see that orange right there? Let me show you another. The regular orange. Like if you just get a regular orange. And let's compare the two. You see how much brighter that is? So essentially, when you're fishing for these male fish, now this ain't for the females. These are fry garden killers. If, if, if the male, the black males are up there protecting the fry, you want the brightest, the most obnoxious color. Chartreuse, hot pink, bright orange. And when you drop your jig down there, they're more likely to attack it. I, it's just, you know, they're like, like a bull seeing red. If you got something... Just up notches. They're just going to go destroy it. So some more random facts about the spawn is crappy reached a maturity level at age two. So crappy is two years old when they start doing the spawning cycle. 
aka around six to eight inches they can start doing the spawning cycle now the bigger fish are obviously going to be the females but there are going to be a lot of males that you know live to a really good mature age and they can get up there to 12 to 14 16 inches sometimes a uh, female crappy does lay anywhere between 20,000 to 60,000 eggs so everybody that complains that live scope is going to take out the crappy populations, please explain how. Because if you don't keep crappy in a pond in the two years, you've got an overpopulated place. So crappy fishermen keeping crappy makes bigger crappy. Point blank period, prove me wrong. <sighs> now black crappy do spawn slightly faster, faster or sooner, whichever way you want to call it. Then white crappy, and that's just the name of the game. The same female could spawn twice. There, there's been studies that have seen the same female spawn twice. Do I know if they do? No, I've never watched a female. So, but anyway, guys, this is just me covering, you know, key areas, what the crappy are doing. Get out there, throw your crappy man jig down that bank, and I can dang sure bet if there's a crappy around, he's gonna bite it.